Hey guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum, Liberty, Kentucky, fredmccoy.com. Sheila's behind the camera. Hi guys, hope you're having a great evening. Uh, got a text earlier, and the, uh, I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman, but somebody asked Sheila and I why uh, Sarah McCoy, Randall's wife, mm -hmm was uh, her date of death. What was her date of death and why it's not on her tombstone? And um, good question. And um, we're not sure. Right. We're, we're not sure. Uh, you know, Sarah McCoy, it's always been said that she died around 1890. Mm -hmm. uh, because she was there, she's there for the hanging. This is February, the um, 18th of 1990. 18. Um, of what I say? 1990. Okay, I'm thinking February 17th of Hubert Bay. Hubert yeah. Bay was killed on February 17th, and Cotton Top Hatfield Mounts was hung on February the 18th, 1890. So here she is. Right. We, we know that she was in court. She testified against um, Cap and Ellison and uh, so forth like that. It says she heard Cap out there. Mm hmm. Uh, so we know she was at the trial of Ellison Hatfield, uh, and we know that her and Randall, this is a picture of them actually at the hanging. That's a close-up. Yeah. There's several hundred people behind them there in the background. They were right up front. Yeah. If you guys will recall, if you ever, here, here's, you, here's you a task, something fun for you. Google. Go to YouTube. Google. Hatfield McCoy miniseries, Randall mm -hmm. McCoy at the hanging. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to see is Randall McCoy, drunk as a dog, staggering around there like he wanted them hung. Randall and Sarah didn't want Cotton Top hung. They didn't think he was guilty. They, they thought that Cap was the one that actually pulled the trigger on Alifair. But go watch that video and watch how Hollywood made this Exciting. gentleman right here look. Look how they made him look. Yep. Drunk at the hanging. And there's him and Sarah at the hanging, sober as judges, mm -hmm. in their Sunday, Sunday best. Yep. And she's got her morning bonnet on. Sarah always wore a bonnet after Jim Vance and John C. Hatfield beat her yeah. with their rifles and guns. She had a big indentation in her head. And not that everybody didn't have bonnets on that day because it's a it was a, a called a morning yeah. bonnet. And uh, but she wore hers because it covered up her her indentation in her head. Mm. Uh, so we're not sure what year Sarah died. Sheila and I went to Frankfurt years and years ago. Not only Sarah, mm -hmm. but we was looking for several other people dealing with the Hatfields and McCoys, especially mm -hmm. the McCoys, because we went to Frankfurt, and the McCoys' the vital statistics is in Frankfurt. And we took a number, and we stood in line, and we done all the things that we were supposed to do, and we done this many a time uh, on different people that we'd go uh, check records on. The same process for each one, but they they didn't start printing. Kentucky didn't start printing birth certificates until 1911, 1909, something like that. I think between 1909, 1911, Kentucky didn't keep up with birth certificate or death certificates. Um, they just didn't. Some people had books that they would write the information in. Most people kept it in, in their the Bible. Bibles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Most people kept it in their Bible, and that's how people has kept up with that throughout the years. Now, it wouldn't have been in Sarah's Bible uh, because Sarah was alive at the time. They almost killed her that night, but she was alive. But Sarah and Randall's family Bible, and everybody... To this day, most people still has a family Bible, mm -hmm. but their family Bible had burned up in the cabin. Everything they had burned up yeah. that night in that cabin up to that point in their life. That is so sad. So, once again, to answer this person's question, we don't know what year uh, Sarah McCoy died. We know that it was sometime after 1890, after mm -hmm. the hanging of Cotton Top. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, other than that, and we know it was before Rosanna died. She died before Rosanna because Randall buried uh, uh, Sarah. Sarah, and then he buried Rosanna. They didn't die far apart. 
you know, Sarah died from complications from being beat. Everybody always says, well, he had five children, three murdered at the tree and mm -hmm. two shot at the cabin. Mm -hmm. More, more than that. Wilm died mourning his brothers. He froze to death at the yeah. graves of the three brothers that were shot. Randall Jr. in his stead, he, he died of, yeah. of uh, freezing to death, frostbite, broken heart, whatever. He died there at the grave. Uh, Rosanna died of pneumonia, or, or um, some people want to say TB. A lot of people did die of tuberculosis back then, but uh, mm -hmm. some people said it was a broken heart. Yeah. Uh, after Johnsy beat her mother, and uh, the baby died. The baby died. Yeah. Sure. So lot. there's another one. But Sarah McCoy died in relation to the Hatfield McCoy feud. She died in relation to the head trauma mm -hmm. and the injuries that she sustained that night. She just didn't die that night. She died later on. But uh, sad situation for all of them. It's Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum. Hi guys, hope you're having a great evening. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.